This beginner card trick doesn't require any skill. It can be done with a completely shuffled deck of cards. So you'll spread the cards out on the table. You'll ask your spectator to select any random card. Now, in the real performance, of course, you wouldn't see this card, but it doesn't even matter if you know what it is. So we see it's the Queen of Diamonds. I'm going to ask them to just place it inside the middle of the deck and I'll put the rest of the deck on top and we'll square the deck up. Now I'm going to deal the cards into four piles and as I deal them, I'm going to explain to the spectator that this is going to look like a trick they've probably seen before. A lot of beginners do a version of this trick where they deal into four piles, then they flip them up and they ask the spectator to tell them which pile has their card in it and they do that like three more times and of course they find their card. It's kind of silly though because they keep asking the spectator to tell them where their card is. So this is a version of that trick where I'm only going to ask that question once. We'll eliminate three piles and I'm going to find their card without asking any more questions. So we'll flip these cards up and we'll see is there a card in this pile and it is right there. So we'll get rid of the rest of the cards and now we're going to deal these cards into four piles and I'm going to try to find their card without asking any more questions. Now again I wouldn't have known which card was theirs. So I'll spread these out and we'll see that we have three piles that have three cards and then one with four. So I'm just going to get rid of the oddball, get rid of four. And now we'll take these three piles and I'll get rid of the top and bottom card of each one. So the top and bottom card is gone, top and bottom card is gone, leaving us with one, two, three cards. And uh, one more time, I'm going to get rid of the top and the bottom card, leaving us with one and only one card, which is the spectator's card. So what's great about this trick is that it really doesn't take any setup. It really is a shuffle deck of cards. And it doesn't matter which card the spectator selects. The only thing that really matters is that when you cut the cards in half for them to place their card in the center of the pack, these two piles have to be almost exact. Now, you can see these are not exact. It's like one or two cards off. That's fine. But it can't be like five or six cards off because it won't work then. So if during this trick I accidentally cut like too small of a pack, I would just complete the cut and keep talking and act like that wasn't even part of the trick. And then I would make a better even pile. Now you can see these two are not perfectly, actually these are perfectly even. So let me move one over just to show you how it would look if it was slightly off. It still wouldn't matter. Place their card. I'll put it face up this time just so you can follow where that card is. And you put the rest of the cards on top. That's the entire trick. Now you could throw in a false cut if you want at this point or something else, but you don't even need to because it's still kind of confusing as is. So now you'll deal the cards into four piles. And essentially what you're doing now is placing that card in the perfect position of one of these four piles, which is why it doesn't matter if it's exactly uh, in the center or not. So as we deal here, we got each of these piles has six cards in it, and the next card up is going to be their card. So it's going to go into the seventh position of any one of these piles. It doesn't matter which pile it goes in because, remember, we're going to eliminate three of these piles. And as long as it ends up in the seventh position, the trick will work. So now we eliminate these piles, and we're left with this one. And when I deal this into four, one, two, three, four piles, you'll see that their card is going to be face up in the middle of this pile every single time. Regardless of which pile it lands in, it's going to land there. And now the rest is just kind of acting. So we've got four piles. You'll say, uh, well, these have three. This is the odd ball. I get rid of this one. And however you want to get to that middle card, you can get to it. But I just remove the top and the bottom, top and the bottom, top and the bottom. And then this becomes the middle card. And you're, again, you remove the top and the bottom. Regardless of how you do it, you'll always get to their card.